Hey there! Welcome in my first studio vlog. I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and also full-time designer. And this week I'll show you some of my ongoing work. A few days ago I ordered some new stickers, so let's open this together. Um, usually I'm um, designing my stickers on, uh, the Pro on Procreate, on iPad. And I ordered them with sticker mirror because I like the quality a lot. So there it is. Yay! This is my new stickers. So obviously they are holographic stickers. I really like holographic stickers. Yay! So I'll show you some close-up. Well, I'm super happy with how they turned out. Look how shiny they are. They are super shiny. Look at that. This is so cool. So what I'm doing to do those holographic stickers is that I'm drawing them on Procreate, on iPad. So there you can see this is the um, design for this specific sticker. There is also my other design too. And uh, it's quite simple. Actually, you just have to um, draw your drawing and leave the, um, leave the background blank uh, and export them as PNG. You can see that all the white is turning holographic, so it's quite cool. This week I also draw these tiny Polaroid style plants with Posca's marker, so this is my sketch and it basically helped me with uh, placing the colors and this is the final result, so hope you like it. A few days ago I bought some gouache painting and I will try them on. So I already did one illustration but it was quite difficult so I want to improve my painting skills with gouache. Um, the painting is really uh, really nice to work with but it's quite hard to um, control where the painting is going so today I'm going to try to get better. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I have no skills or tips or techniques to talk to you about. So while I'm painting, I will talk to you about my 2021 art goals. So um, this year I wanted to start over my YouTube channel, so obviously spend a lot more time on it. I wanted to improve my skills as video maker. I really enjoy the studio vlogs, but my favorite ones are those where the illustrator are also talking about their ID projects and this is really my favorite one because I can use them as podcasts. So I wanted to do something really close. So the idea is I will have a small part where I'm talking about my projects and what I'm doing each week uh, as an illustrator, as a freelance illustrator. But the rest of the video, the part where I'm drawing and I have nothing so much interesting to say about what I'm doing, I want to yeah, talk about some uh, concept and ideas and stuff like that so you can uh, listen to to them like a podcast. Let me know if it's something that could be interesting for you too. So for 2021 I also want to focus more on improving my own art skills and do what I like and focus less on what people think and why they want and also comparing myself less to other artists because this is something that I'm doing often and this is not healthy and helpful. So um, this year I also want to do some drawing challenges like I did last year, but there is some pro and cons doing some drawing challenges. It's really interesting because you don't have to think about uh, what you are going to draw in a sense. You have to be creative with the prompt, prompt you have 
but you can focus on be creative and not focus on the white page and the white page syndrome sometimes can be really hard to go through so I think it's really interesting uh, for that and it's also really interesting because um, I'm pretty sure that quality comes with quantity it means that you have to practice over and over and over again before getting good or really good and drawing challenges can give you the opportunity to do that it means that for example for the uh, monthly change uh, the ones where you have to draw one drawing every day this is something really interesting because when you have let's say 30 drawings maybe you have you are going to have 10 really not good drawing like you hate them fine maybe you're going to have 10 okay drawing like maybe 10 15 okay drawing and even if you have 10 or 5 even if it's just 5 excellent drawing you are going to be able to do these 5 excellence drawings because you did 30 and it's something really interesting because if you don't do these 30 drawings you won't be able to achieve a really high level of interesting drawings and this is something that I think really helpful another really good thing with the drawing challenges is that it gives you the, the habit to draw more and often and organizing your planning to have some time for drawing and this is really good because even when you are over with the um, with the drawing changes you still have this place in your timing or organization which allows you to continue to draw regularly so it's for me it, it works really well um, there is also a major negative point for me and it is the pressure that can come with the drawing challenges especially the daily ones because they are demanding um, and I think it's it's not the daily ones are not the best one it exists a lot of variants like uh, drawing for every day for one week but not one month or maybe draw twice a week I think it, it could be interesting to find something in between and that's almost it for my art goals. Um, I also started an, an art journal and in it the objective is less focus on drawing and more focus on composition and collage to let me uh, try different mediums and uh, improve my creativity process. So I think it could be interesting. So this is the end of the of this week's studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching and don't hesitate to give me some feedback because yes, I will improve my video skills this year. So this is your objective. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye!